welcome back to my channel my name is julia mbani commonly known as jules and on this channel we talk about books literature development and a sprinkle of other things here and there if that sounds like a, your cup of tea please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on the notification bell to receive notifications every time i upload a new video so a lot of you know i'm a newbie in this booktube streets and every day i find out new and different things about booktube and one of these things that i found out is that there's usually something called a tuesday tag where different booktubers have come up with tags that other booktubers can participate in and as i was just researching i came across one that was very interesting to me and i hope to be doing more in the future so today's tag is called the reading pet thieves tag and it was created by alan who has a booktube channel called um big hard books and classics but i first saw this on micah micah cummins page i hope i'm pronouncing the last three uh, the last name correct but i'll link both of their youtube channels in the de description below and you can go and check them out and also check um, their other videos so it has only eight prompts so it's not too long and i guess we'll jump right into it so the first prompt is do you use or read along with audiobooks my answer is no <laughs> I feel like I just haven't gotten the hang of audiobooks. I know a lot of people who actually use audiobooks um, and I think it's so interesting because they tend to read like more books. Uh, of course, in this day and age, we just consider listening to audiobooks as reading as well. So they do read more books and it seems to be easier. Recently, we were, we were reading... What book were we reading? I think the way of kings by brandon sanderson and also the priory of the orange tree and a few people in uh, the book club that i was reading them with actually listened to the audiobooks like i've never gotten the hang of them i feel like maybe my attention span will not be enough for me to be able to focus while listening to an audiobook i've tried it once uh and it was actually a good experience it was for a non-fiction book so i feel like maybe for non-fiction books i will give it a chance for fiction books especially fantasy might be a bit tricky but i never say never maybe one day one time i'll get comfortable with reading them and you know the answer could change but for now no not really the second prompt is do you utilize your local library the answer is no and not because I don't want to, it's just that I'm in Kenya and our libraries are not really yet um, at the place where they stock like most of the books that I love reading. Um, we have a few libraries that are actually improving day by day and we have, is it bank books or book banks? I'll link um, in my description below who actually go about renovating uh, Kenyan libraries. I think that's such a good venture to be doing and I hope one day I'll be able to utilize library libraries more because you know it's even cheaper it's more convenient so we'll see but also another thing is I love reading my own books and underlining them scribbling in them which might make me hesitant when it comes to using library books but for now I don't really use libraries I don't think many book homes in Kenya actually do that but hopefully the story will change in time number three do you DNF books yes with passion i dnf books with passion i think i used to dnf books even before i knew what dnf is before i started my bookstagram account before i knew anything about these terms i can't subject myself to finishing a book that i don't like anytime i read a book and i find myself struggling with it i just put it aside funny thing sometimes you're not even dnfing the book because you don't like it sometimes maybe you're just not in the right mind space to be reading that book or if you're like me maybe you're just not in the right mood to be reading that book so yes i do dnf books i don't struggle with books i don't enjoy reading also life is just too short for us to be reading things that are not making us happy so yes i dnf books number four do you read multiple books at the same time yes i do i actually love reading multiple books at the same time especially when um the book i'm reading is a bit heavy one of my challenges to myself this year was reading one nonfiction book per month so obviously when you're reading a nonfiction book sometimes it's just best not to read it as a novel because it can be boring or you know heavy so i do read a lot of books uh, simultaneously sometimes i read one book at a time if it's very very interesting and i just want to know like what happened what happened but from time to time 
I read around two, three books at the same time. I try not to get crazy and read like too many books at once, but yeah, I do read multiple books at the same time. I like it. I don't find it challenging. I find it interesting when I'm in a mood for something light, I have a book. When I'm in a mood for my fantasy books, I have a book. When I'm in a mood for something serious like the non-fictions, I have a book. So for me, it's very convenient. Number five, do you make time or have a specific time in your day dedicated to read? Yeah, I tend to read in the evenings, just before bed, like an hour or two before bed, depending on the book I'm reading. If the book is quite interesting, I, do, I find myself like reading into the night, maybe till 1 a.m. And then I have to remind myself, you're, you're, you're going to work tomorrow, man. You have to sleep. But I tend to read more in the evenings. I don't get much time to read during the days and I don't like reading in the morning hours. So I don't have like a specific, like it must be one hour of reading or two hours of reading. I just read in the evening till the time that I feel like putting the book down or till the time that sleep comes along. Number six, do you dog ear books? No. And I will fight anyone who dared to dog ear my books. <laughs> um, back in the day when I was in campus and I used to buy just these secondhand books on the streets, I wouldn't mind dog earing them. But right now I think I'm a bit more sensitive. I like taking care of my books, uh, especially my expensive books i wouldn't dare do that so no i don't dog ear books i usually have a bookmark or just any other thing that i can use to mark the page that i'm on works number seven do you annotate your books yes and heavily especially if the book is interesting i know there's an, a lot of people who are like no you shouldn't be doing that don't ruin your books you're spoiling the book and whatnot but i I find it so hard to even read without doing that. <laughs> I write in my books, I highlight, I like, you know, doing pointers. The only thing I don't do is use the, what are they called? The, the tiny like sticky notes, the page markers, I guess. I don't use that because I usually wonder how people who use that store their books afterwards. But I do annotate my books heavily. That's why I don't like even reading someone's book because if I find something that in, that's interesting to me, the urge will be to underline and whatnot. But yeah, I think we should just leave people to read and do with their books what they want to. So for me, yes, I do. I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. The last prompt is, how do you feel about spoilers? I think I'm those people who spoilers really don't affect me. When the whole world was going mad about Game of Thrones, I will just go and see the spoilers that have been posted there. Who dies? Who dies? I don't know what. And I will still like watch the show. And react as if I've just found out the first time. So it's the same for me with books. I sometimes I'm in a book club and sometimes I can join the book club meeting without having finished the book. And I'll still enjoy the meeting and I'll go ahead and finish the book and enjoy reading it. So for me, spoilers don't spoil anything. I, I don't mind them. Of course, I'd prefer like to get the initial shock and reaction, but sometimes it, it doesn't add up to it. Also, some books give me anxiety and I just even Google to find out what happened so that like I can read in peace. I know it's weird. I do that for shows as well. But yeah, for me, I don't really mind about spoilers. So those are the eight prompts. If you feel like giving this tag a try, you can do it. It's quite short and quite fun and interesting. Uh, that's it for now. Let me know what the most interesting prompt was for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching.